Most of us spend so much time sitting down in front of a laptop to get our work done. As the working from home culture is getting normalized, it's not unusual to hear people complaining about backache at a young age. If you are someone like me who will spend 10 to 12 hours per day sitting at the desk, I'd like to introduce you to an ergonomic chair that will transform your working time into a pleasure. I'm using the CG07 Plus ergonomic chair from AutoSeat. This chair comes with a lux touch woven fiber mesh backrest, so I will not feel hot and frustrated whenever I'm working long hours in humid weather. The seat is breathable with a cooling effect, so no butt sweat. What I like most about this chair is the adjustable lumbar support. You can adjust it either 5cm upward or 5cm downward according to your sweet spot. Trust me, your back will thank you for that. Whenever I'm tired from work, I can lay down and rest for 10 minutes. Just unlock the pedal here and let your body weight weigh down the backrest downward and push the pedal inward to lock your laying position. The chair also comes with a 3D adjustment armrest, which means the armrest can be adjusted to various directions up and down, to the front, back, left and right according to your preference and activity on the chair. How convenient is that? Everyone deserves a pleasurable time working at the desk. Use my code YEEVEN50 and you shall enjoy 50 ringgit off for CG07 Plus, CG Prime Gold Standard Ergonomic Chair and Smart Desk from AutoSeat. The link to AutoSeat website is in the description box down below. And now let us go into our video of Salted Fish. Back in the days, salted fish is the poor man's food. As the extreme saltiness from the fish is the only flavor the poor people afford to impart with plain white porridge or white rice. But now, this dried sea product has become a luxury. Hi, welcome back to Fearless Passport. My name is Evan. Today, I visit my hometown Guantan and explore the hidden gem of Basara salted fish distributor and get some insights into the sunset industry. Guantan is the capital city of Pahang with approximately 525,000 population. As a coastal city, Guantan is very famous for the sea produce, particularly Mui Hyong Ham Yu, the Mui Hyong salted fish. This type of salted fish is available from other cities as well. However, the one from Guantan can always fetch a higher price because of the process and type of fish is used for marination. This is Guantan Old Street Jalan Besar. In the old times, there were a lot of shops selling salted fish. Unfortunately, some years ago, a fire burned down the majority of shops. Most of the shop owners never reopened their business until recently, it has transformed into a street with lots of vintage coffee shops. Apart from Jalan Besar, my parents used to get their dry seafood produce from Guantan Basra. There's a hidden gem in the Basra fishing village. During their peak time, Bussara used to have three to four salted fish producers working together and distributing their products all over Malaysia. But time proves this industry is indeed challenging. The industry shrank from three to four players to only one salted fish seller in the area. I had a short talk with the owner of Panyaga and Chitlip. He is of Hokkien descent and the fourth generation of the salted fish business. On a breezy afternoon, I was lucky to meet their entire family enjoying the afternoon breeze on hammocks while waiting for their salted fish and sea cucumber to be dry. Oh, 
，就是。打波就一样，就不是讲要求了嘛。啊。海龙是不是？啊，有啊，昨天有鱼，不是三天晒了，啊，明天就是明天鱼钓啊，今天就晒一盘。就没有做。是你你爸爸做，然后他做，跟着做，跟着做这样子。So what are the differences between the famous Mui Hyung sort of fish and normal sort of fish? As I read further, there's no specific type of fish species in preparing the sort of fish. But there are two types of Cantonese sort of fish. One is the fragrant sort of fish, the Mui Hyung Ham Yu, and the fun flesh, Sap Yuk Ham Yu. Mui Hyung Ham Yu can be found everywhere, but especially famous in Guangdan. Only fish with thicker bodies, such as the gao yu and ma yao, are preferred. And according to owners of Panyaga and Chitlip, Mui Hyung Ham Yu is freshly produced on the boat. Once fishermen caught the suitable fish, they were slaughtered, gut, washed, and marinated the fish immediately. And the marination took about one week for the fish to ferment. Once the boat is docked, the fish is washed again, seasoned with salt, and dried under the sun. Mui Hyung Ham Yu has an intense salty fragrant flavor, and look at the price. A big sort of fish like this can fetch price to 117 ringgit Malaysia, and this is considered cheap compared to other Mui Hyung from other places. As the fish is freshly fermented, the end product is not too salty, not too soft without being mushy, and it's very flavorful. For the Sat Yuk Ham Yu, the process does not involve fermentation. But the step is not easy either. Fresh fish is gut and open into two, marinated with salt for one night, undergo second washing, and then followed by direct sun dry for two days. Fish with thinner bodies are usually utilized as sat yuk ham yu. We usually call them ham yu zai, which means little salted fish. The traditional Chinese cuisine with salted fish is not any other than ham yu fa lam bo, the salted fish with pork belly. Ham yu chao fan, salted fish fried rice, yu hong ke zi bo, ngā bo ham yu gai fan, the clay pot rice with chicken and salted fish, and ham yu jingo bang, steamed meat patty with salted fish. On the east coast of Malaysia, ethnic Malay also process salted fish but in a slightly different style. Fish are gut, washed and clean, put in a plastic container we call it balang, with lots of coarse salt and plum, ka sam ku ping. Dalam nya ada apa? Ikan je. Ikan garam. Lagi? Lagi. Asam keping. Asam keping. Oh, ikan merah, sepuluh ringgit. Sudah ke? Sudah. Makan macam mana? Goreng. 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 Tak limau. Terus itu saja. Lepas tu nasi putih. Nasi putih. Oh. Sama cuk pun boleh cuk. Cuk. Oh, dengan bubuk. I bought one of these salted fish for an experiment. One container of this is only 5 ringgit, very cheap, and indeed this is a poor man's food. Once opening, the smell is extremely pungent and choking, not to my liking. However, once I pan fried it, the taste is fantastic. Half of this fish is way too much for one person portions. The saltiness is more than enough for 10 white porridge. Guantan is also famous for its anchovies, the ikan bilis, dry squid and other dry seafood that you normally see in a hoi mei shop, a seafood shop. If you ever visit Guantan, do get yourself some fresh salted fish and anchovies for your friends and family. You can see how many years these businesses have been by looking at the ceiling, fan and wall design. These are the 70s, 80s or even older architectural style in Malaysia. I'll put the Google Map links for the Soto Fish shop that I've been and personally recommend. Last but not least, I'm now trying to transition my usual video style to a travel vlog like today's content. It's my first time doing it. As I'm holding the camera and leading the interview session at the same time, I don't get my scene with my face in it. I hope to do it better next time. If you like this style of video, please give me a like, subscribe and turn on all for the notification so you will not miss any of my future video. If you'd like to support my work, I have my Buy Me A Coffee PayPal link in the description box down below and your support will keep me going in producing more content on this platform. 
In my next video, I will compile a topic about Qingming Jie, which is Tomb Sweeping Day. It is a traditional Chinese festival and a very important day for most people to go and sweep tombs and commemorate their ancestors. So stay tuned, see you in the next video. Bye bye!